Marsh Mason for a football school, but number three Miami has the nation's longest winning streak and its highest ranking in school history. So I guess he showed us. Oh, welcome you. Jim Laranaga to the show. A little truth in advertising here. Woodlot and I go back a long way with Jim Laranaga. I go back to when you were an assistant at the University of Virginia. And I honestly thought that you took the job at Miami and South Florida as a retirement vehicle. I thought you took it for the money. <laughs> so you tell me, why did you go to that school? Well, first of all, uh, after my years at Virginia, one of the goals that I had written down was to become a head coach in the ACC. And quite frankly, the reason I took the job at Miami, because I believe we can win a national championship. Tell us about this, this whole experience factor, which you guys seem to have, and almost no one else in college basketball has that today. How much does that determine how good a season you're having? Well, we do have six seniors. One is uh, injured and, and redshirting, but the other five are all great kids, great workers, and they really sacrificed and made a commitment. Uh, those seniors, uh, Duran Scott, Trey McKinney-Jones, Kenny Kaji, Reggie Johnson, and Julian Gamble are totally committed to everything we're doing as a team because not a single one of them, in fact, not a single guy on our team has ever played in the NCAA tournament. And they not only want to get there this year, but they want to make some noise. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strike a little chord of beef with you a little bit. The other day you had that layup, uh, Shane Larkin threw it off the board for the trailer to dunk it down. Against Duke, you guys slapped the floor the way Duke always slaps the floor. I would say these are slightly hot doggy moves. Do you have any complaint about them? When you saw them happen, were you okay with them? I love my players' enthusiasm. First of all, slapping the floor is, is a, a compliment to Duke University because I picked that up 25 years ago, and my team has done that every day in practice and every game when we warm up. If someone comes and watches us in warm-ups, our players will slap the floor. The reason the players did that night is because one of our great uh, football heroes, Warren Sapp, who played at the U, was sitting courtside for the Duke game. He yelled to Shane Larkin, this game is not over. Slap the floor and play some defense. And Shane told the team, listen to Warren Sapp and do that. And he, in the Carolina game, Shane threw the ball off the backboard. Now, here's the way I view that. Shane is a team-oriented guy. He wants to, to, to reward his big guys when they run the floor. Kenny Kaji barked behind him, backboard Shane, backboard. As a point guard, you reward those guys. I think it's good teamwork, very unselfish basketball. It's never, it's never to put down the opponent. It's always for us to execute as well as we possibly can. See, Wilbur, that's all those years in Washington learning spin. That's why we <laughs> like Jim Lattenberg. That's why we like him. Jim, I want to go back to, to your referring to Warren Sapp for a second, because obviously when you think of Miami and the U, most of us of a certain age think of those great football teams and those national championships. Is there any conscious effort, n not from you, but around the team, to have that certain swag associated with Miami's football success now associated with the basketball team? Well, you know, I, I know uh, the, the U is considered the, the school that invented the swagger, but the way we look at it is our basketball program, of what our, my basketball coaches and players refer to the Miami way, is just the way we do things. And we try to do them as simple as we possibly can. We want to be humble and hungry. Uh, I, I told the players yesterday, this is all about humility. You know, fame is very fleeting. We need to be sure that we're focused on doing the things that, that have helped us succeed so far, and that is hard work and preparation. I will get you out of here on this. For many years, Miami basketball was played and nobody came to watch. But the other day, courtside, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade were there to watch. How does that impact your program? It's huge, Tony. Uh, having those guys sitting courtside and every one of our recruits watching TV, that, that gives us a lot of credibility with them. And for, for D. Wade and, and LeBron, just to take the time to do that, says Miami basketball at the U is significant on the national level. Them sitting courtside is like Jack Nicholson sitting courtside for the Laker games. Thank you for joining us, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Good luck. My pleasure.
pleasure, guys. We're taking a break.